Stuck in Vermont, but to you by seven days. My name is Ava Saulberger. We're here at Shea Stadium at Rock Point School in Burlington, Vermont for Wiffle Fest. Wiffle, Wiffle Fest! Fest! Woo! 32 teams come together to find out who will take home the Wiffle Ball trophy. They've been doing this for 12 years. People come from all over the place, young, old, male, female. Anyone can play wiffle ball. We are the dirt bags. Our the team is the eaters. bean eaters. Get over there, baby. Oh, nice right. pitch. Oh. Oh. All right. This was CJ's vision. It started 12 years ago. And I just, I was trying to figure out a way to get my friends together. I grew up playing wiffle ball and dreaming that one, someday I'm going to get all my friends together and we're going to play all day long. He said, hey, if I played some wiffle ball, would you want to play? And the response I got was pretty overwhelming. Like, are you kidding? I'd love to play. What CJ has pulled off is nothing short of incredible. And the more I asked, the more people wanted to play. Annual tradition. It's a tradition now. Summer really begins with Wiffle Fest. You know, it's a dream come true for me. Bread and puppet with, with, with plastic balls and bats. Of all the fields and all the families, the children, the dogs, it's just kind of a whole atmosphere that people want to be a part of. So. You look at every park and he tries to make it really look or feel like that park. Everybody's here to have a good time. and kind of transcends just the game of Wiffle Ball. And it's good competition too. So this is just a completely different atmosphere than any Wiffle Ball game you've played before. Wiffle ball can have infinite number of rules and people play different ways. So the rules that we play are the ones I grew up with. Two person teams. Uh, you don't run, you hit for distance. There's still like imaginary people on the bases. Two outs an inning, three innings a game. Four balls, three strikes. There's a chair over here, you hit the arms or the seat or the back, it's a strike. If you miss it, it's a ball. The lawn chair umpires, you know. It's ingenious. If you win four games, you're in the World Series. So you have to win five to win it all. I love wiffle ball because... I... It's really fun. It's a good old man's game. But wiffle ball is the great leveler. It's a leisure act. Activity. The stuff that I love doing is pitching and fielding and hitting, and that's what wiffle ball is. The competition, the movement of the ball, that it's so so much different than, than other baseballs. It's competitive and it's easy to hit home runs. So, so sometimes it's easy yeah, to hit sometimes home runs. <laughs> oh no! Oh! And I kind of like the two people against two people because you get to talk a lot. And because I grew up playing baseball, so it's a chance to be a kid again. I've just been playing all my life. Well, we're all baseball guys. We yeah. love that. Okay. But it's really the community piece that brings us back every year. Oh, it's a great community. There are people I see only every year at Wiffle Fest. And I know them now, and I know them pretty well. And their kids know my kids. There are kids now that started when they were... The first one was when I turned one. And are playing in the tournament now. There's all these families that we're watching grow up together with Wiffle Fest. Our team consists of um, my husband, Kyle, who is at bat, and then our three sons. But everybody can play wiffle ball, so you see children playing with their parents and uh, husbands and wives. I'm hoping to be able to play with not only my sons, but my grandson who was just born, so he can do that in wiffle ball. Everyone can hit a home run, everyone can pitch a wiffle ball, you can make a curve ball the first time you touch a wiffle ball. Many of us really like to win, so we like to we play, compete hard. Yeah, the bug, the competitive bug. Yeah, it seems like some teams take it pretty seriously. Um, ours is not one of those. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm like, I could win, oh my god! That's um, the Majors trophy. And this tin can thingy is this the, the minor trophy. Oh, and I'm gonna get the high competition so that like people would want to win more. There are some practice. Wiffle fanatics, yes. And they're the ones who always make it to the World Series. There's usually one team that wins like every year. The Lizards and the Mindless Ones. You look back over the 12 years, one of those two teams will probably won it. The Lizards and the Mindless Ones will probably be in the World Series Finals. Both those teams have won several times. It'd be nice to see a fresh young team win it. I'm going on to the winner's circle. Who knew? We'll get stuck around with you again real soon. Do you think you can see that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Fun. Fun. Our mom still needs a little practice, yeah. but she's a uh, yeah. There okay. aren't too many um, girls on the field, I've noticed. Yeah, actually, that's true. 
I'm not sure why, actually. Because with a ball, anyone can play. Exactly. There's not many girls. There's a lot of women. Really? Actually. But playing? I haven't seen many women. No, not yeah, playing. playing.